हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग क्लास आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग वेल आई एम योर इकोनॉमिक्स टीचर मिस्टर वजाहत एंड इन द लास्ट क्लास वी वेरी कैटेगोरिकली वेरी प्रिसाइसली डिस्कस अबाउट द स्टेट ऑफ इंडियन इकोनॉमी एट द ईव ऑफ इंडिपेंडेंस अबाउट द एग्रीकल्चर सेक्टर वी डिस्कस अबाउट द स्टैग्नेशन ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर वी डिस्कस एंड वी डिस्कस अबाउट द स्टेट ऑफ मैन्युफैक्चरिंग सेक्टर और द सेकेंडरी सेक्टर इन द लास्ट क्लास but today i'm going to extend the class uh, extend the teaching material of the class so in today's class we will be discussing about tisco tata iron and steel company you all know tisco jamshedpur ratanji tata so it was established in the year 1907 so there were very, there were hardly any capital good industry in the last lecture i have told you about capital good industries so there were hardly any capital good industries because of this the industrialization process was slow the contribution of the industrial sector in the gross domestic product or gdp remained very small development remained confined only to the railways power generation communication ports and some other departmental undertakings whatever the development process took place during the time of during the time of the britishers because the colonial administration was very very confined to their uh, economic or political interests so whatever industry whatever things they started uh, they have started because of uh, their uh, you know uh, on the basis of uh, their economic uh, or political interests so tisco plays a very important role it was like a, a capital good industry uh, iron is iron and steel industry the new topic that i will start today is foreign trade under british rule i think we have covered this topic uh, uh, so we are going to focus another very important topic that is demographic profile demographic condition under british rule demography is itself a subject so basically in demography what we study demography we study about birth rate we study about death rate infant mortality rate net attendance ratio and i know you all you all are aware with these terminologies because you all have studied in your social science right from class 6 to 10th so it was the first time in the year 1881 when first census took place you all know census census is janganna it is a survey supported or financially sanctioned by the government okay in india the census is conducted after every 10 year the first census took place in the year 1881 so 1881 survey reveal unevenness in india's growth india was first stage of demographic transition transition is change okay india was the first stage of demographic transition from 1881 to 1921 now what were the findings what were the findings of 1881 census the findings were very very alarming high birth rate and high death rate birth rate and death rate is another important indicator for country's development it is a macro approach it is a holistic approach only gdp and these methods is not necessary to talk about you know to talk about the economic development death rate birth rate life expectancy these are some you know uh, these are some facts and th these are some facts with the help of these facts we are able to evaluate the economic condition of the country how much the government is spending so high birth rate and high death rate implies low survival rate which was nearly 8 per 1000 per annum at that passage of time public health facilities were unavailable for most population water and air born diseases were rampant life expectancy was low 44 year com uh, compared to 68 years today which shows the lack of health care facilities lack of awareness as well as lack of means for health care 
इन्फेंट मोर्टैलिटी रेट वॉज वेरी हाई टू वन एट यानी कि दो सौ अट्ठारह पर थाउजेंड कंपेयर टू लेस देन फोर्टी टूडे लिटरेसी रेट वॉज ऑल्सो लो सिक्सटीन परसेंट विच रिफ्लेक्ट द सोशल एंड इकोनॉमिक बैकवर्डनेस ऑफ द कंट्री विद फीमेल लिटरेसी एज लो एज जस्ट सेवन परसेंट